Hello and welcome everyone to today's video by the AM Academy. Today I want to go through the calibration process for the Einscan Pro 2X 2020 handheld scanner that I have here in front of me. As I said, it is a handheld scanner, so it's designed for you to move around your part while holding it in your hand. However, you can also buy the industrial pack add-on, which then comes with a turntable and um, a sort of bracket on a tripod so you can scan in a fixed mode. Now I've just launched the software for the very first time, so the first thing we need to do is calibrate it. And to calibrate this scanner, you can see it instantly entered the calibration process. Included in the package, there is a calibration plate and a sort of holder thing. Um, and this calibration plate should always be stored in the included felt bag when not actively using it to prevent any damage from occurring to this plate. Because this is what allows you to get that super high accuracy that this scanner is uh, used for. So without further ado, we're going to do exactly what it says on the screen. There are uh, bigger white dots, and these are important for orienting the uh, scanning plate, the calibration plate, properly. So right now it tells us on the screen to just put it down flat on the table, take our scanner, and now there is a little light cross projected by the scanner onto the plate. That cross is supposed to be in the center. And now to start the calibration process, there is a play button on the back that I will press. And now I just need to hold it at different heights as the green bars on my screen fill up. And now the video on the screen tells me, okay, take this plate and this base and slot it in there. With the single white dot towards the bottom, that white dot towards the right side and these two up. And then after slotting it in, I need to rotate it this way. Now take the scanner again, once again, position the, pl uh, the little cross on the white square in the center, press the start button, and lift it up slowly in order to fill out all of the bars in the software. Once I'm done, next step, rotate this 90 degrees, repeat the process. That's really it, we've at this point seen everything there is to see, and we just repeat the same steps over and over. Of course, I don't need to go from bottom to top. Theoretically, I can start higher up and move closer and closer in order to fill up the bars. If I move too quickly and it skips one of them, let's see if I can do it. So I start scanning at the bottom, but then I move too fast to the top. I can simply go back and fill out the ones that I missed bit by bit. So, now that I've rotated this plate the complete circle and I had it flat on the ground, the calibration is done. Now the software will ca calculate what the calibration value actually is and if I did everything right, it will then tell me my deviation. And that's basically it, that's the calibration process done. So, I would want to store my calibration plate and the holder back in the case that the scanner came in, especially in that felt bag for the plate, so that it does not get damaged. However, there's one more thing I want to show you, so I'll keep it here for the time being, because maybe you calibrated the scanner and then you take a couple days off and you come back to the office and you want to scan with it. Then you can actually use the calibration plate to reevaluate the accuracy of the scanner on that day. You should always recalibrate the scanner when you're in wildly different lighting environments. So for example, moving from Office A to Office B, it's probably a good idea to recalibrate it just to get the best possible results. But you know, if I go home on Wednesday and I come back to the office on Thursday, I don't want to recalibrate and it is not necessary. But if I want to double check how accurate my scan is, I can do so by just having the calibration plate and essentially doing this calibration process just once straight from above. So we'll do that once this calibration uh, procedure here is actually finished and uh, it looks like we're about to be there, it's at 98% right now. Uh, so that gives me a short time to talk about the scanner itself. It comes in this package um, and it's very neat and tidy. And now it's done, so I don't need to keep talking. We can see my calibration deviation is 0.03 pixels. And I can just click next, then it'll quit the calibration 
uh, process and enter the scan mode. But now I want to go back and double check that accuracy. You can also see how it tells you on what date and at what time you previously calibrated. So this time, I've already done the calibration, I just want to check the accuracy. So I switch to the accuracy tab and then I take the scanner, hold it straight above and only do it while the plate is lying on the table and move upwards and upwards and upwards. Oh, I missed a box. Need to get a little closer again. There we go. Now it tells me my actual deviation in millimeters. So that's how precise this scanner is with my current calibration. 0.02 millimeters and I am ready to start scanning. That's all I had for you in this video. Now I can choose whether I want to do a fixed scan, a handheld HD or a handheld rapid scan. But in this video, I just wanted to show you how the calibration process for this scanner actually works. Well, and we've done that. So I hope this video contained everything you wanted to know. If there are any more questions or comments, please leave them below. And as always, have a great day. And I hope to see you again in another video. See you then.